Hey YouTube, it's 3D for Life with a brand new 3D printing home video for you today. Today we're going to show how to change the hot end fan on your Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro. This will also probably work with just about every printer out there. I'm going to show you how to solder in a new connection so that you can just plug and play any fan that you'll buy in the future and no running wires all the way down to your board and no trying to do any splices in between. And we'll get to it right after this. So guys, in order to do this, we're going to need a few tools. You're going to need an Allen tool to take loose your stop uh, fan cover. You're going to need a couple pieces of heat shrink, which I have right here. What I did is I went to Harbor Freight and I just bought this assortment of heat shrink. It was cheap. I think it was like $5. It'll be really nice if you have one of these to help hold stuff while you're soldering. You're also obviously going to need a soldering iron and you're going to need some flux. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take apart our fan. Now that we have that taken apart, we're going to go ahead and cut this zip tie right here so we can get this out of our way. And now we're going to need to loosen all of these screws to take our stock fan out of our housing. So now that that's finished, we're going to go ahead and just cut our wires right here. We'll leave a little bit on both sides in case we decide to rehook up this fan because it does work. I'm just replacing it because it's so loud. So now that we've got our wire snipped, we're going to go ahead and strip them back and then we're going to get them pre-tinned with solder. I'm going to apply some flux and then I'm going to apply some solder to them. <laughs> So now that we've got that done, I actually robbed these two little pins. I'm not for sure if you can see them. And this little connector right here, which works with the fan motors, I actually robbed them off this little circuit board that I had in a broken printer. And it ended up being the perfect plug. So what I did is I just unsoldered the pins from this board and then pulled the plug off. And that's what we're going to be replacing it with. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place one of our pins in this jig and we're going to apply some of the flux to it and then we're going to pretend that as well. And now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and solder the two together. It's a good idea to use a pair of pliers to hold your wire against your pin. Make sure everything's lined up nice. Now that that step's done, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and slide our heat shrink over both of these connections. Make sure you leave plenty of pin exposed to go into your plug-in. And then we're going to heat shrink these. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fan and our new connector and we're going to make sure that the red wire gets put, pin from this gets put in the correct side. So I know that I want the red wire on the left of my new connector to be match up with the red wire of my new fan. So I'm just going to slide them both in the back of the connector. And now that they're both in there, you can see that I have a new plug that my fan that I ordered will just plug right into. So now we're just going to reinstall our fan. You want to make sure that your airflow is in the proper direction. We want the airflow blowing in towards the hot end and sucking in from the front. So 
so now we have this nice convenient plug to unplug and plug in new hot end fans now without taking anything else apart without extending any wires or anything and all i'm going to do to make this look a lot nicer is i'm going to bundle all this up back here and then just run this loom right back over the top of everything And then the last thing I'm going to do is secure it with a zip tie. And now we have a new quiet hot end fan that is also pretty cool because it's RGB now and changes colors. And we also have an easy plug and play feature for changing hot end fans from now on. I will link these fans down in the description. So if you guys listen, I actually have both my uh, Ender 3 Pros running right now. Now they're not printing anything and the PSU fans are not running, but both my hot end fans are running and you can tell it's not very loud at all. Again, I'll link these fans down in the description. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, please give me a like and subscribe. And until next time, you guys take it easy and keep on printing.